Hey guys, I'm back. So, remember how I said, like, I wanted your suggestions, and how I said, like, some of my most popular videos when you were watching me break Minecraft. Well, I've been thinking about that, and I'm gonna start this mini-series of, like, five-minute-long videos where I just modify one random thing about Minecraft and stuff. So, like, today, I'm just going to be making it so lightning bolts never despawn. So... Normally, these are going to probably be about five minutes, but this one's going to be longer because I'm also going to show you how to decompile Minecraft in this one as well. So, yeah. So, if you're doing this for 1.12.2, you can follow this tutorial. If you're doing it for 1.12, you, you can follow this tutorial as well. I'll give you some directions in a bit for if you're doing this for 1.12. Because 1.12.2 is basically taking 1.12, except you're changing it slightly so you can actually get 1.12.2 instead of in, uh, instead of 1.12 so first you're going to want to go to this website here that i have i'm going to have all these in the description so this is www.modcoderpack.com now you're going to want to download this thing called mcp940.zip i'm actually going to download it because i don't feel like opening up my downloads right now so you're going to wait for that download it's going to take a little bit so i will see you all when it is done Actually, never mind. It's done pretty much now. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty much done now. So, now I'm just going to drag this out onto my desktop. Now, what I recommend doing is I recommend creating a folder here. Now, I'm going to... My file explorer over. Okay, thank you. Hold on. Uh, let me get to the folder where I'm going to put this. Okay. Um, hold on, guys. So... So I'm going to put mine in this MCP folder on my data drive. So here I'm going to create a new folder. So I'm just going to call it that. Now in here, I'm going to, dra whoa. I'm going to drag this mcp940.zip into this folder. Okay, so let's bring this up here. So now in here, you want to extract it here. So... Um, we don't need that. We can just do this. Okay. That'll extract everything to here. This might take some time as well, but it, it... Okay. So then you'll get... You get a bunch of stuff here. Now, if you're doing this for 1.12, what you want to do is you want to run this decompile.bat if you're on Windows or decompile.sh if you're on, uh, I think, Mac... Mac or Linux, you're going to want to run decompile that sh, and then when you go to use Eclipse, you want to set your Eclipse directory to this Eclipse folder right here. If you're doing this for 1.12.2, there's a little bit of a different step you got to do. I'm going to be following this tutorial here. I will leave this link in the description, but I would just recommend uh, following this because it's easier than that. So, or yeah, follow this video because. I've already figured this out, and it's kind of confusing when you're going to do Eclipse. So, yeah, there's actually a couple of these ones. So I'm actually going to go back to the page. So, the first thing that you want to do is you want to get MCP940, like I did here. Then you want to go into the... It is, I think, con folder here then into version.cfg and then in here you're going to change both of these to 1.12.2 like that and you're going to save this file here and then you can just close that then the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to this page here this is for 1.12.1 and 1.12.2 i'm going to it's base well i can't really show you it it's on this tutorial page here so it's on this tutorial page here. It's this link here on this tutorial page. So it's going to be this one here. And then when you click it, it will give you this zip file, which I already have one. And then you're going to want to extract that to this conf folder. So extract files and just put it in the conf folder. And it'll tell you to replace some things. Press yes that you want to replace it. Just press yes to all. And it will replace those. 
Then the next thing you want to do is you want to come to this other link. Now, this one I can actually show you, and I will put it in the description as well. Here, you're going to have to go to this one, so the mappings, which takes you to this page, but I already have it open over here. And you're going to download the latest one, not not the 1.13.1 or 1.13. Wow, they actually, there were 1.12 ones here <laughs> earlier. Oh, yeah, there's actually one right there. So you're going to find the one for, like, 1.12, and then you're going to want to download this here. Download zip, and then it's going to give you another file. Trust me, none of these have viruses on them because I've already done this many times. And then you're going to want to extract that to the conf folder as well. So, yeah, here we go. Extract that to the conf folder, and yes to all to replace everything. Now that you've done that, what you want to do next, hold on, let me come back here and refresh. Okay, so next, after that, what you want to do is you want to run decompile.bat or decompile.sh if you're on Mac. So this, now I'm not going to do this. This is going to take about like 30 minutes. It'll seem like it gets stuck at copying assets, but don't worry, it won't. And if there is like some kind of error in the decompile, you can post something to that to that uh, form that I'm going to have in the description because I really don't know how to do this. It hasn't broken for me yet. But if there's an error, you can always do that, and it might be something with your Java version. But after you do that, because I'm not going to do that, because that's going to take forever. But after you do that, I'm just going to go to this one, 942. So then you're going to get this, and it's going to decompile everything. Then the next thing that you're going to want to do is if if you're if you're just going to use this just like this without Eclipse, and you're just going to use like the start client dot bat and start client sh, you're fine. You don't have to watch any more of this unless you want to see me, of course, freeze lightning. What you do want to do, though, is if you're going to use this with Eclipse, you're going to have to go into your Eclipse folder, then into your dot .metadata. No, wait, is it dot .metadata? Hold on. Let me check. Um, I think it's dot .metadata. Let me check. Um, no, sorry. It's Eclipse, then Client, then dot class path. You can just open that with like notepad plus plus or whatever you use. Then in here, it might look spooky, but there's only a couple things you have to change. First, these will say 1.12. Change them to 1.12.2. These will also say 1.12. Change them to 1.12.2. Next, you have to find the thing in here for realms. So it's going to be libraries, then it's going to be com, then it's going to be mojang, then it's going to be realms. It's com, mojang, that's text speech, pause code. Um... Um, Mojang Realms, right here, Realms. It'll say 1.10.16. The current version for me right now is 1.10.22. Now, this may change, and in order to check what version of Realms you need, what you should do is you should go back to your folder and come to your folder here, go back to your main folder, and then go to Jars, and then I think after that, because it tells you in that file where it is, um then libraries, then com, mojang, then realms, and there will be this folder right here, mine is 1.10.22. That is what you need to replace it with, because it's going to be 1.10.22, then the jar file, 1.10.22. So you replace it there. Then you want to save your class path file. This is what's going to make it work with Eclipse. If you don't do that, it's not going to work properly. It's going to tell you some stuff about randomness. randomness. So then... What you're going to do, I already have mine open, so file, then I'm just going to, and I'm going to I'm gonna go switch workspace and other. So then, underneath this, under the 942.eclipse, so like I said, you're going to go to that Eclipse folder, and now I know this is so different, but you're going to go to that Eclipse folder, and then you're going to press launch. I already have mine there. And then you have Minecraft decompiled. Now, um, you do not have server. The server source is completely blank. I might do a tutorial a tutorial on decompiling that later if I can figure it out. Right now, I don't know how to decompile the server, but you have the client, though, which is good enough. So then when you want to run it, you're going to want to go into default package and you're going to click start.java, and then you're going to press this run button right here. And that's going to start it. Now, time for the part of the video where you all... where uh, I do lightning.
where I make lightning freeze blade. So I'm gonna run it. Oh, I got player nine six five. Uh, last time I got player nine nine eight. One off from nine nine nine. It's gonna start up Minecraft now. One thing to know about this is you do not have the worlds of your actual Minecraft. So if you have a world where it's some survival let's play and you're trying to play that with this decompiled version, it won't work. They have completely different worlds. Like this only has this MCP world. Why? Because they're 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 different. So yeah. So then you're going to want to so once I'm in. Once I'm in, it's kind of nighttime, but now I'm going to show you what I did. So, I'm going to summon a lightning bolt. You'll notice that. The thing is that it should have despawned by now, but I made it so it doesn't set itself dead. Now, there's a, a couple ways you can do this. You can either make it last longer, or you can make it permanent like I did. Now, you can just break this fire. So, now you just have a lightning bolt. Now, these will delete themselves when the uh, when you when you restart the world because they're considered a weather event, not an entity. Even though you can summon it, and then of course you can fly up. You can like explore like these parts of it. You know, it's lightning bolt. You can actually explore now. But the thing is that if you go up too high though, it will actually despawn itself. Like that. Well, it just just unrenders itself. I guess. So now I'm going to show you how I did this. So, under your Eclipse, you're going to have to go to uh, net.minecraft.client.entity, where entity.effect, then entity.lightningbolt.java. I'm going to close some of these other random ones I have open. I have like a bunch of these open. Okay, so then it's going to take you to this. Now, if you want to make the lightning bolt last longer but still despawn, you want to change this value right here, this 3. If you want to make it so it never despawns, instead of that, you instead of changing that, you can leave the 3. You want to comment out this line right here, this dot set dead. It should be on line 87. If you comment that out, it won't set it to dead anymore. So... That is how you make lightning bolts never despawn in Minecraft. And I hope you all learned something from this. And next time, I can't decide. So I'm going to let you all pick in the comments. Next time, should I either show you creepers that don't blow up? Or should we do the redstone tab icon as a command block? I'm going to let you all pick that in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss another video in this series or another video or live stream in general. And, uh, you know, I really hope you do this. If you learn something, you know, leave a like and share this with everyone you know because it really helps me out a lot because of the way YouTube works. You know, it's, it's hard to get popular on YouTube. Unless you're, like, one of the first people on YouTube, it's hard to get popular on YouTube. So, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And, oh, and goodbye.